Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay. I'm the Big Boat Rider. And today we are going on a tour of the Carnival Panorama. So if you like to see a full walkthrough of the ship, stay tuned and we'll get started right after this. Welcome to Carnival Panorama. She had her inaugural cruise in December 2019, so she's still young. Her godmother is Vanna White. She has a full guest capacity of 5,097 people, but our selling was not full. And she currently sails out of Long Beach, California. Since decks one and two are all staterooms, we're gonna start our tour on deck three. Here you will see the panorama atrium, basically the main lobby of the ship. To our right, you will see the excursions desk. And right next to it, you have the internet cafe, which you do need to purchase the internet package to use that. Then we have the atrium bar. And next we have the horizon restaurant which this is one of the main dining rooms on the ship. There are two of them. The other main dining room restaurant is called the Vista Restaurant and it's in the back of the ship on the same level. And I'll show you that later on in today's tour. As you can see, we have plenty of seating in this area. It's also very well decorated for a carnival ship and I love that. And here to our right, we have our guest services desk. Next, we are on deck four and here's the Vista restaurant. This is the restaurant that I ate in because I had the Anytime Dining. Um, I basically just went on the Carnival app and reserved a time. My table was ready in less than 10 minutes on both nights that I used it. The service is really fast as well. I love the romantic lighting in here. It just looks very elegant. And yes, the food is very good. So I definitely recommend giving it a try. Right now, we're on the back side of the ship, which is called the aft. So now we are walking through the lower promenade. And the first venue we come upon is the Limelight Lounge. Here is where you'll find the nightclub. They also host art shows in here and definitely the comedy shows as well which one comedian in particular on this trip was hilarious definitely give them a try when you come on here it is free to come to the comedy show they have some that are family friendly and some that are adults only and the bar service is very attentive in here so come and check it out All right, let's go back out to the hall to continue our tour. There's a lot to see and we have a lot of ground to cover. This is one of Carnival's bigger ships, so be prepared for some walking, which is good because you'll be burning off a lot of calories of all the food that you'll be eating <laughs> while you're on this cruise. So here we have the sports bar, which is tributed to our Heroes, the servicemen and women. Next, we have the casino, of course. The casino is always active, definitely. I know a lot of people have the package where they can drink for free as long as they play. 
they do also allow smoking in here so it does get a bit smoky in this area if you have to walk through it you can always go upstairs to the next level to walk over it if you don't want to walk through it which i will show you the next deck up shortly Alrighty, and as you see, as we exit the casino, we come right back to the main lobby. Here to my left, you will find a store where you can purchase liquor and tobacco. You can also purchase incidentals here, such as feminine products, body wash, toothpaste, things of that nature. They do come at a premium though, so be prepared for that in case you forget anything. In the back here, we have the theater, but I'm gonna show you that when we get upstairs. Next, we come to deck five. And on this deck, which is called the main promenade, you will find all the fun shops, plus cherry on top. Now, of course, we're going to walk this entire deck, but first I did want to show you all the theater as I promised on level four. Um, you can reach the theater from level four and level five. I love the decoration, the colors in here, the cool blues and purples and teals. You can catch some great shows in here. My favorite is the Love and Marriage show. It is so hilarious. I see they're actually playing bingo in here right now. But yeah, and bar service in here is nice and quick as well. So don't forget to check out the theater when you come for your cruise on the panorama. All right, so we're going to make our way out. And I was just going to continue on, but I forgot that there is the lanai right next to the theater. Um, this is especially for my people who smoke or vape or just like catching some views outside on the terrace i definitely uh, recommend coming over to the smoking section over here on the lanai uh, this is one of the least popular smoking sections if you know what i mean a lot of people don't know that this place exists so it's never really crowded not really loud over here and it's not as windy as it is upstairs on level 11 which i'll show you shortly Okay, now we continue on deck five to the fun shops. They are open at different times throughout the days. Just check the Carnival Hub app to check the open and close times. If you are someone that loves to shop, then I actually recommend waiting until the last day of the cruise to do the shopping on board. The thing about shopping on cruise ships is that their shop items come at a premium cost. So you want to save the most amount of money possible. So at the end of the cruise is when you'll find those biggest discounts. Next, we have the library bar. Now this bar is really quiet and laid back. You can chill and read a book or they have games board games and things of that nature that you can play in here um as you can see it's not really crowded in this area if you just want to come back and chill yeah i think it's really cool to have a bar inside of a library like <laughs> you don't really see that on land much but i like the concept of that on ships so next we have my personal favorite restaurant on board almost any ship really is the teppanyaki this one's bonsai teppanyaki and i come every time that i'm on a ship that has it literally the food is so good all right and right across from the restaurant is the piano bar and this one is really live at night there is a singer and a piano player that will sit and play songs at your request and it's a good time in there to our right we have fahrenheit 555 which is the steak restaurant on board 
To our left, we have Bonsai Sushi. And then we have the Alchemy Bar as well, the most popular bar on board, of course. They have the best drinks and can make you brand new concoctions as well. So definitely check them out. As you can see outside, the Lanai covers pretty much the whole space outside on deck five. So plenty of seating out there. Next to our right, we are passing the Pixels Photo Gallery. As you can see, you can buy some accessories here. You can also purchase cameras and cases. And you also purchase the pictures that they took of you while you were on board. Next, we have Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue Spot. It's really good. They also have live bands perform in there from time to time, so definitely check it out. Next, we have Dream Studio, where you can order personalized private photo shoots on board and at the ports of call. Here we have the Java Blue Cafe and the Shake Spot, where you can get your coffee and your shakes, of course. Next, we have the Ocean Plaza. Multiple events are hosted here. Right next to it, we have the Plaza Bar. We are gonna continue down the hall to the Havana area. To the left is where you will find the Havana State Rooms, which you have to purchase the state room to get access to most of the Havana areas. However, the Havana Bar is open to everyone. And it's very well decorated back here. Giving very much Cuban vibes. I love the color concepts and the architecture, the columns and just the color combinations in here are beautiful. This is where a live band would perform for Latin nights. This is also the venue where you would have the karaoke, right? There is a beautiful bar back here as well. Now all the way in the back, of course, I did not have access to the Havana Suites, so I didn't have access to the Havana Station outside on deck, but I'm gonna get close to the window here. So you can see they have two hot tubs back there and a pool specifically for Havana suite guests. So that is an awesome perk if you do choose to purchase a Havana cabin for your cruise. Otherwise, you can come back here for karaoke or Latin nights at the bar and have a really great time. It's really beautiful back here. All right, riders, now we are on to deck six. Now on deck six, that's where my stateroom was, but the only thing other than staterooms up here is the arcade. It is a pretty cute little quaint arcade. There's a decent amount of games in here to play. It does get a bit crowded in here because it is a smaller room, right? But the kids, as you can see, are having a great time in here. Now it can be a bit tricky to find, but if you take the forward elevators to deck six, you will find the arcade. Deck seven, eight, and nine are all state rooms, so we're gonna go to the deck 10, which is the Lido deck. We're gonna start in the back, which again is the aft of the ship at the tides bar. You can see that we have plenty of seating out here. Lounge chairs. We have the back pool. Which a lot of times on Carnival, the back pool will be reserved for adults. But on this one, kids were allowed in it as well. The after deck 10 is a really popular spot. So it gets really crowded really early. So if you want to come out here and lounge during the day, you need to get out here as early as possible to get your spot, especially under an umbrella. On the aft of the ship, we also have the Pizzeria del Capitano, which is the pizza spot. Very good for late night pizza.
And right here on the other side, we have the Seafood Shack, which is like my second favorite on any Carnival cruise ship. And I eat there every time. They always have delicious seafood. So try them out when you come on here. Next, we walk through the buffet. And as you can see, it is very crowded. It gets very crowded in the buffet. Even though it is crowded, there's always somewhere to sit. They did a good job with proportioning the seat to passenger ratio on board. So it's never an issue finding somewhere to sit while you eat your food. Also seen a pretty decent selection of food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you do not want to eat in the restaurants and you want to just come uh, find something quick and easy, then just come to the buffet. The hours are of course listed in your Carnival Hub app. And the buffet is, of course, where you will find your unlimited ice cream. Now we are walking onto the Lido deck. The first thing we have is Blue Iguana Cantina, where you can get your burritos and tacos, taco salad. Very good. This is the party spot on board, so they will move all these chairs to host all the parties. We sailed on Halloween, so they have the Halloween contest out here, and they also have the silent dance party and the sail away party out here. Very good times. Here we have the Blue Iguana Cantina Bar. It's one of two bars in this area of the Lido. Through the glass doors is another set of elevators and the rest of deck 10 forward is all state rooms. Coming up next, we have our Red Frog Rum Pub, which is the second bar on the Lido deck. I personally like how they have the Red Frog Rum Pub side have red seating and the Blue Iguana Cantina side have blue seating. I think that's cute how they have that set up. Next, we have my favorite free spot to eat, which is Guy's Burgers. I love me some Guy's Burgers. I get them literally every time that I go on a carnival ship. I know some people that book carnival just for Guy's Burgers. So it's seriously the best burger to see. You also access Gigi's Asian Kitchen and Cucina del Capitano restaurants from Deck 10. Next, we shall go up to Deck 11. The first venue we'll notice up here is Camp Ocean, which is the kids club, basically. You wanna have your children go hang out in there while you go enjoy some adult activities, you definitely can do so. From this level, of course, you have full view of the Lido deck. So this is the place to chill during the parties if you wanna have a place to view people during that and you don't have to be in the crowd, but you just wanna chill up there and get some good video, definitely can do it up here on this deck. Here on the starboard side or the right side, of course, is the smoking section. So this is where you can come smoke and vape And here's another glass door that goes back to the staterooms and elevators from this level. Also, here's ample seating up here. Very comfortable places just to chill and relax and watch people or to watch movies on movie nights, which they have pretty much every night. Different movies playing out on deck. Here on the port side or the left side of deck 11, there is no smoking. So people who don't smoke can still get great views of the movies 
and people watching during the parties. Now deck 11 does span all the way to the back of the ship. So I'm just speeding up the time just a little bit to get through all the walking that it takes to get to the back. But I mean, if you ever find yourself just wanting to exercise and spend some calories, go ahead and take that walk. <laughs> it was nice and long. So, but yes, it comes all the way back here to the aft of the ship where there is more seating, of course. It is so beautiful from up here. Right? I did spend a lot of my time back here. This is the port side, but of course on the starboard side, there is another smoking section up there on deck 11. Here we are on deck 12, which is the waterworks and sports deck and the spa, of course. As a matter of fact, let's start there. I love the spa. I do come to the spa almost every time that I take a carnival cruise. I love to get the pedicures in here. They do run a little bit expensive, but if you are lucky, they'll give you a discount, a $50 off discount. Um, I've got one three times now, so I do make sure that I take advantage of those. Here we have the relax room. And right next to it, we have the whirlpools, which you either have to purchase a pass to use it or purchase one of the spa suites and it comes with access to that room. Back here, we do have the locker rooms along with the fitness center. We have some gorgeous views in here. In this fitness center, you will find a modern choice of equipment to use at your leisure. They also have weights. They also have saunas in the men's and the ladies locker rooms if you would like a nice steam after your workout. There is a second floor to the spa where it has other treatment rooms and I'll show you one later in the tour. So now we are moving out of the spa and back out on deck. We're gonna go take a look outside. Outside these doors, we are coming upon the Carnival Waterworks. Carnival's Choose Fun Waterworks is a themed aqua park with two different slides, both located on deck 12. The Red Fun water slide is 455 feet long and the Blue Fun water slide is 300 feet long. Waterworks also includes the splash zone. To ride these water slides, passengers must be at least 42 inches tall. There are no weight restrictions. Minors under the age of 13 need parents' permission and they need to be potty trained as well. I promise you, I will never get tired of how beautiful the views are from up here. Here we have the walking track and a cute little foosball table. All right, and as we continue going back, we come across the sport complex on board. And right here you can see the miniature golf. Inside the clubhouse, there's also miniature bowling and a host of games out here on the sky greens. Up at the top, you do have the sky course 
and the sky track if you want to ride that further down the tracks we have the basketball courts And on the other side of the basketball courts here, we have the Sky Fitness area where you have workout equipment, but outside in the fresh air. And back here, we just have more beautiful views. I absolutely love it. Imagine taking a morning walk and looking at this every day. The Panorama is a beautiful ship. I absolutely recommend booking her if you haven't already. The Carnival Horizon is her sister ship. So if you love the Horizon, then you'll absolutely love the Panorama. The Sky Fitness equipment does continue on this side. And so does the basketball court. The Sky Track and the Sport complex now that we have come full circle we're just going to go ahead and go up to the next deck though we are on deck 12 there is no deck 13 on this ship it goes right to deck 14 which is just the spa staterooms. So anyone who books a spa stateroom, it will be on this level. The only other thing on this level, as I mentioned earlier in the video, are other spa treatment rooms. So it's a pretty lackluster up here. This is just so you know where you can find them. Finally, we have deck 15, which is the Serenity deck. However, unfortunately, we were not able to get out on the Serenity deck and film because it was so windy. It made for dangerous conditions, but the Serenity is the adults only area where you will have two hot tubs up there and plenty of seating area and a bar. All right, riders, that does conclude our tour of the Carnival Panorama. She has been a fantastic ship. I would definitely sell her again, and I actually plan on doing so in the near future. If you have stayed with me during this whole video, thank you so much for your time. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank y'all again. Bye.